in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the Angel Snub Nub 7 here on YouTube, and welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am your host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Even Ra. I just wanted to take a few minutes. This should be a short video. <laughs> really, it should. Um, I just wanted to talk about two subjects, two quick subjects. I want to speak about uh, reincarnation and unidentified flying objects. Now, reincarnation, and I think a, a, another description of it is transformation or tra transfiguration of the soul. So what happens is, after we die, we have a soul, we have this living type spirit inside of us. This physical flesh dies. Y'all know, all know that. We, we know, we see things die and they go back to the earth. But there's a soul within all of us that continues to live. And what happens is it just leaves this body and goes into another form. Either into the form of another human being or that of an animal. I don't know if they include insects. <laughs> I mean, insects are living things too. Very, very short lifespans, but they're living things. I, I, I guess you can't be reincarnated back and, and come from uh, this life until the, then you become a cricket or something. I don't know how that actually, I don't know exactly how that works. But, that's reincarnation. So it's just from, the soul just travels from one place to another. Basically that's it. But, when it's all said and done, it's a belief. This is what I don't understand about humanity. Well, I do understand it. Because, see, these beliefs, and at the root of it, y'all, at the root of belief systems, it was created through the imagination of ancient human beings due to their misunderstanding of their environment or certain animals and creatures. Or it was due to the fear of death. Reincarnation has to be, or it was created due to the fear of death, because ancient people could not believe, or refused to believe, or did not understand, or did not want to believe that you come into this life, and then you just simply, upon death, you just perish and go away. So, this belief usually contained within some type of religious belief system this belief of reincarnation teaches those or teaches us that you don't have to be sad there's more to life you're going to die and go somewhere else and of course as you know in uh, Christian religion you die, and there's a possibility you'll go to heaven, and you get to see all those who you once knew and probably loved. It's a belief system. But the reality of it is that reincarnation does exist. And you will take a form of something else. But it will not be what you call a soul. That's a belief. We have no idea. We don't know that this soul, this thing exists yet. It's a possibility. We believe in it. But at this time, we don't know. That's why we got to believe. But you will be reincarnated because 
everything that dies go back to the earth sooner or later and up from out of the earth you will reform and turn into another life essence possible because you're being made with the same materials some other form used to have and you'll come back as a tree you'll come back as a grasshopper or some other living form you'll never know what you was prior because now you are brand new you are reincarnated but not the way that you would like you would like to have some type of knowledge of these things going on like I said there's a possibility but we don't know there are those who claim that they have experienced UFOs there are those who say that ancient people left writings that they also experienced unidentified flying objects we live in a universe we live in a uh, dynamic that is so so limitless when you look into the heavens I mean it's just so much out there it's a possibility now don't get me wrong there's a possibility that there is higher intelligence somewhere in the universe closer than we think so close that they may use their vessels to travel and come here and check us out <laughs> you know I was just thinking <laughs> I said now why don't these aliens why don't they just go ahead and let themselves be known but you know something they might be so intelligent to look at how wacky and, and messed up human beings are they like oh man I don't get involved in that there were some crazy life forms down there and you know they get shot at <laughs> you know it you know these, if these aliens really are of some higher intelligence they're not stupid see let me tell y'all something H have it ever made you wonder maybe that's the reason why God y'all say that God exists for me it makes no difference but you know something you know why God or Allah or whatever you want to call him Yahweh Yahshua however you want to call him, do you know why this God never just look make himself known just like I'm making myself known on YouTube why don't God Allah Yahshua Yahweh whatever Jehovah why don't the God make themselves known because if they are of a high intelligence they know that they're gonna get shot at there was a story I forgot Clarence 13 X he he was a, a, a follower of Elijah Muhammad and he was the founder of what they call the 5% nation and one of his followers because Clarence 13 X claimed that he was God okay so one of his one of his followers said wow if you God this won't hurt you so he shot him and the God died hurt a lot of people's feelings because you know if God can create the heavens and the earth and you got so much knowledge and wisdom and you can read people's thoughts and minds and all that kind of good stuff you should have known that you had one of your followers that's gonna try you and, and, and kill you but apparently he wasn't the God that everybody expected him to be So my thing, y'all, even if God exists, even if there's such thing as recreation, even if that's a reality, even if God is a reality, even if these beings, aliens that are coming from out of the sky, if that's a reality, why don't we wait till it just makes itself plain? Why y'all in such a rush to believe? I believe because the belief leaves you could be could be not 
So if you believe in God, how you feel when you're wrong? Or if you believe in reincarnation, how do you feel and you're wrong? Or if this UFO alien thing is taken all out of proportion and y'all wrong? What's wrong with just waiting and see and just make it plain just like I'm talking to you right now? But y'all just can't wait like a child thinking that there's some candy in the jar but you're not for sure. Could be candy in the jar, might not be. I'd rather know that there's candy. Then I know I'm going to get it. But when you believe, you, you, you put an unnecessary pressure on yourself. Y'all done y'all comments, y'all. This was and is. I'm Talik Ibn Ra, the Reality's Temple on Earth.